Hello loves, welcome back to Wonder Tarot and if you are new to the channel, welcome. I'll be tapping into Pisces energy for your you versus them love reading for August 2024. Keep in mind these are general readings so they may not resonate with you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest for others. Let's go ahead and jump in to the ancestors archetypes and guides that are here for the greater good and higher self of pisces thank you for constantly guiding and protecting them thus far and i pray that they can continue to receive those gifts from you please let me be a channel to bring them the messages that are trying to find them at this time all right so pisces the energy that i'm going to be tapping into is the person on your mind it can be someone else um, or someone that's not on your mind that's showing up in your energy or is coming towards you if this does resonate you will know who is who but I will read it as if it is the person on your mind. Spirit guides universe. How the person on your mind sees you, Pisces. What are their tensions? And what is their next likely action? Alright, so Pisces, the person on your mind currently sees you as possibly making up your mind. Uh, let's see, two cards upright, reverse, nothing off the ground. How does the person on Pisces' mind see Pisces at this time? We got the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Five of Swords. So the overall energy, they see you. The Four of Cups in reverse, clarified by the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Five of Swords. I think they see you in a space of possibly feeling disappointed or feeling like the, an offer is not, no longer available. Um, sometimes the four of cards, the person is fully aware that something is there, but they're not trying to make a decision quite yet. It being in reverse with the surrounding cards, I feel like it's um, your person sees you as feeling like there is a disagreement or conflict. Um, maybe seeing you in a space of dealing with other relationships that are to toxic in your life. And that may be why you are coming through as disappointed or moody. There's something here that they see you feel disappointed about. Um, what is the person on Pisces' minds? What are their intentions with the Four of Pentacles? What are their intentions with Pisces? We got the King of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the King of Pentacles, and the Strength card. So their intentions are to hold on tight here. Um, there's like a, their intention is to be, uh, it's, it's interesting because you have an impulsive energy here, but you, then you have the Strength card. It's maybe really feeling intense but taking like every cell in your body to control those impulses uh, maybe to hold back on expectations that's their intention is they want to they want to decrease the volume on their expectations in this connection or from you I think it's a it's a it's a little bit difficult for them I mean I don't even I wouldn't even say a little bit it's difficult for them to see you in a space here of feeling disappointed being disappointed that's how they see you it doesn't necessarily mean that's where you're at but their intentions are to maybe focus on work to uh, it's almost like work made like focusing on money or or work helps them get distracted from like the intense emotions that come to the surface so they're just trying to like their intention is to try to be as stable as possible to g grab from the resource like if they need the resource of stability they're grabbing from what they know is working well for them which might be work they're definitely staying possibly staying their intention is to stay busy to not regret saying something to not feel the overwhelming uh, desire to 
do something here. If they see you in a space of not even feeling and feeling that something is an option here, or they don't see you in a space that's receptive or that has room for someone, or um, they see you in a space of going through something and seeing conflict in the in the connection or just feeling conflict, um, they're not gonna feel like they can they they can say anything that's gonna help. Their intention is to redirect their focus on like what they can control. Um, their next likely action being the Page of Swords spirit. Can you explain the person that's on Pisces mind? Their next likely action being the Page of Swords. We got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Chariot. So their next likely action is to uh, either watch you here, like see what you're up to, see what you're doing. They're curious, so this may be social media or messages, text messages. They definitely want to move towards you, start something here with you that is uh, definitely new energy so if this is somebody that you know already or that you're dealing with already they want to come in with a different type of energy or a, a new version of it or like they want to spunk it up a little bit here there's like this plan to just start something new so this might just be a new person coming in this might be a person that can't read you that sees you in a place of like feeling defeatful maybe in the dating scene their next likely action here is to do something and it's not quietly there's definitely movement new project creativity new feelings here that's coming out in their next likely action and they're going to be I think pretty honest here about it it might not come out very mature, but they're going to be uh, extremely obvious in what they're looking for. It's interesting because their intentions are to not let you see like what they are actually feeling from a loss of expectations or... And this could be a loss of expectations of somebody that was like before you. So they may still be kind of like dealing with those energies while they're trying to come in to you for you with you. There's something here that they're kind of passing through, moving through, pushing through, navigating around. Maybe a past struggle versus a struggle that's like this connection. Let's tap into your energy. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Spirit guides, the universe. How does Pisces see the person on their mind? You've got the Emperor and the Eight of Swords. I think you're picking up on their intentions, like what's behind their intentions, right? They might be showing up stable and strong and composed but like underneath there's like all this intensity and they're trying to not make things obvious here but I think you're picking up on like that they're kind of putting themselves in a victim mentality or getting it into their head or feeding their own fears here um, that's coming from a place of wanting more control um, what are Pisces' intentions with the person that's on their mind? We've got the chariot in reverse. I think you're trying to redirect. Your intentions are to make sure you're making the right plan before you press play. You may be um, choosing to not move forward because you have evaluated or observed enough to um, convince you not to. Like... What, uh, what advice do you have here? We're going to clarify everything. What advice do you have for Pisces, the Nine of Wands in reverse? Alright, so 
Spirit, the Eight of Swords, and the Emperor for how Pisces sees the person on their mind. Two cards upright or reverse, nothing off the ground. You see them as wanting to know what's going to happen, wanting to, like... They may have really high expectations and are easily disappointed because of that. You see them in a space here of like not knowing where they're going, wanting to know where they're going. So you see them in, in the Eight of Swords in reverse and upright. You see them like wanting to take control. You see the potential of them to get out of their head, but you see them in their head. Um, what are Pisces' intentions being the chariot spirit towards the person that's on their mind? I think you're trying to, like, observe here, Pisces, before you move further, before you make any more, before you say any more, before you make any more decisions or steps or actions... I think you're trying to observe and read the room. You got the Seven of Swords, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. I think your intentions here are to weigh out the pros and cons, step back <laughs> um, discreetly, stepping back discreetly. Again, maybe stepping to the corner of the room so you can observe and watch. You're not saying or engaging or pushing anybody to say anything. You're not asking questions. Your intentions here are to get more information just by watching and observing. You're, you're taking a pause here. You're trying to make sure you're going in the right direction in your own life. And if this connection is part of that... Spirit, what is the advice here with Nine of Wands in reverse for Pisces regarding the person on their mind? The Three of Pentacles. I think Spirit here is trying to ask you to continue being uh, open-minded here. Like, continue to not be defensive or take things personal because I think... Spirit wants to remind you that this person, you see them going through something, right? It's kind of like a little roller coaster here with the Eight of Swords upright and in reverse with the Emperor and Three of Wands. Like, they have the potential. They are probably going through what they're going through because they're now trying to focus and put as a priority their future. So it's like a transition, a process of them becoming more seriously. And to do that, we have to kind of like go through all the notions and all the emotions. So I think the advice here is to kind of, again, continue to observe, continue to maybe just know that when you do speak, it is a good timing, that you have the right choice of words kind of like choosing your battles, making sure that you are conscious of the timing that you speak, right? Try not to speak from a place, if you do take something personal, like the advice is get yourself out of questioning, I guess, your part in it. Because if you're showing up in a peaceful, compassionate way, you can say the truth, even if it's not something that this person wants to hear. There's something there that's like, you know when you walk away that you did your part on being honest with yourself as well as them. It's like you understand that they're going through something here that like, if you were to intrude if you if you were to participate more than you already are it would probably mess up their process it would interfere with what they can do for themselves it, it might add fuel to some sort of fire here you are just trying to see their next move in their own life with themselves like there's this waiting and I don't see you standing still, but in regards to the connection, I see you waiting to see how they show up, maybe. Yeah, 
Yeah, because you know that they're feeling a lot more than they're expressing. You know, there's a lot more underneath, like maybe they're sending you really positive text messages and you know that their like world is going, you know, they're going through something. So it's like, you know what's behind what they're saying. Um, Spirit, what is the advice or guidance that you have here for Pisces overall or about the subject of love? What in general guidance do you have at this time for August 2024 until the next reading for Pisces? We've got the full. There's definitely just a reminder to see the potential within yourself to... Um, have confidence in your decisions, to have confidence in knowing how to approach or not approach something. I think spirit is supporting you in this energy, this energy that you have where you're open to see what comes. It's almost like you know that you stepping back or you observing is productive and valuable to this person and to the connection and like you yourself are like learning and gaining some sort of fulfillment from the practice of it almost like you're remembering how how long it took for you to be able to step back and see the value in that if that makes sense Continue to have confidence in your decisions on how you're navigating through something here. Because you know that navigating through this is going to bring in some sort of new energy, whether it's in the same connection or a new one outside, or you know that it's going to, it, your practice in observing, saying less, less, you know, saying uh, something simple, you know, using a couple words, but then being clear across the point to the point but with compassion right not coming from a place of defense being defensive it's almost like you are you may be in a space where you're realizing how much better you've gotten at processing something particular situations or like specific energies it's almost like you are tilting your head a little bit and you're like oh wow like this is actually way something is like reminding you how it used to be harder to do what you're doing right now in this situation all right loves that is what i have for you for now i would love to hear if this resonates how it does uh, otherwise give me like a thumbs up or thumbs down let me know if it um, gives you any sort of clarity or confirmation and if you, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Until next time, and always sending you love. Pisces, you've got this.